You? Is there anybody? There's Molly, folks. That means your friends, the Goldbergs, are here. Yes, it's the Does program. Does, you know, is the new kind of soap for everything in your wash. First, let's stop at the Dozum's house. Well, there's Cousin Dozum and Sam, that young rookie she invited to dinner. He's just finished helping her with the dishes. Uh-oh, Cousin Dozum's giving him a box of Duz. Sam's saying, Listen, Cousin Dozum, I can't take this Duz back to camp with me. Oh, now, Sam, you know they make all rookies do KP. But gosh, the Army gives KPs plenty of soap for dishes. But, Sam, Duz is different. It's a new kind of soap. Duz does everything in the wash. And it has everything for dishes, too. Listen, nobody wins medals for dishwashing. Oh, well, does, does. It makes suds that stand up till the last dish is done. Cuts grease like 60, and yet it's kinder to my hand. Yeah, but I... Oh, now, now, you wait till some tough sergeant gives you a tub full of dishes to wash. That'll be the day. Mm, well, then you'll see that I was right. Why, with does, you can wash dishes for all your buddies, and those studs will still be standing up. You don't have to keep adding soap. Say, is it does or the army you're interested in? Oh, you're just plain ungrateful. Well, I was only thinking of you and, and all those greasy pans you'll have to wash. Why, it does cuts through the grease in less than half a minute without any hard scouring. Oh, have a hard. Well, just look at my hands, Sam. Does is really kinder to him. See how soft and smooth they are. Mmm, nice. Uh, look, let's leave this does here for your hands, Cousin Dozum, so they'll stay pretty like this. Oh, Sam, you sweet boy. <laughs> well, I hate to cut in on this touching scene, but ladies, remember, does is the only leading granulated wash day soap that gives you all this for dishes. Makes suds that stand up till the last dish is done, cuts grease like 60, yet it's kinder to hands. Try does, D-U-Z. It has everything for dishes. And now, the Goldbergs. The poet called them tears, idle tears. But the ones that Grace is shedding are not idle, for they are slowly burning their way into Molly Goldberg's heart. And once there, Grace will be able to get anything she wants. Of course, Grace, you know, is Molly's new daughter-in-law, just married to Sammy, who is off in the high seas. Grace presented herself in Lastenbury, and the Goldbergs took her to their hearts with love and kindness. But Grace and George, a neighboring farmhand, are up to something. Something having to do with a little money the Goldbergs have saved, money for Rosie's college education. Well, Sammy seems to have married a queer girl, but only Rosie suspects that she's not what she seems. Grace has hinted that she's in some kind of trouble over money. She's upstairs now, crying, and Molly is worried. Listen. Rosalie, where are you? Here, Ma. Jake? I'm here. Oh, Jake, darling, you think I shouldn't go up to Grace? I don't know what to think, Molly. Something I can't explain happens to me when I hear that girl cry. If she would only tell us what, Jake, something it is, if she would only tell us what. She wants a job. No, if she wants a job, then it must be money, Madison. What time is it for? Where are you going, Rosalind? I want this mailed. Your, your, your college application, uh -huh. darling? Oh, I don't know which to be happy, this or that. Rosalie, darling, maybe your whole future is in that envelope. It is mine, know it. Go up to Grace, Rosalie, and ask her. Maybe she'll walk down to the village to the post office. She'll chew her. Maybe she'll feel Ma, better. I, I don't think that... Why not? Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just ashamed of being so happy in front of her. Grace begrudges you your happiness? No, Ma, but she looks at me and her eyes fill up with tears, and then I... Oh, I don't know. Everything sort of freezes up inside of me. She's happy for you like I'm happy for you. Ma, how can you say that she's happy for me like you're happy for me? How can anybody be as happy for me as you are? She's a sister, Rosie. A sister-in-law. Rosie? Ma, I can't help it. Why? Tell me why. What is all this nonsensical talk about? I want Rosie Mama to... Mama, darling, I'm not like you. How am I? And what can't you be? What's the difference, Ma? Huh? Oh, Rosalie, I only hope that your college education will do something for your heart as well as your head. Maybe that's the trouble in the world today. Maybe too much importance is put on brains and not enough on heart. I'm beginning to think that until we develop the hearts, there'll be no hope in the world. Maybe you shouldn't go to college altogether now. Don't get dramatic, Molly. Why shouldn't I get dramatic? Why shouldn't I get dramatic? A sister of a brother that is now who knows where in the unknown. We are lucky to have his wife with us. We know that she's in some kind of trouble. Ma. Yes, Ma. Shouldn't you 
Shouldn't you, as a young girl to another young girl, go up to her, speak to her, ask you her? You asked her, Ma. But I do, I do. Maybe don't you think that, uh, that you're not asking her is on her mind? Would you like it when Samuel come home with the help of God and Grace tells him everybody was nice to her but his sister? What'll that do to Sammy? What'll that do to Sammy's feelings to you? All right, Mom, going up. If you want to only, not if you don't want to. I want to, I want to. Hmm. Molly, maybe you... I don't like Rosalie's letter to you. Maybe you're making too much of a fuss in front of Rosie over Grace, and she feels a little like... Like uh, what? All her life, she was the youngest, the only girl, and suddenly do you start... I show more to I Grace than I show... Sleep. David. Sleep. I thought I would take a little snooze, but, but, but who can snooze? Why, David? Ah, such love, such a love. What do you mean, such a love? She's crying. Huh? Through the walls, I heard it. Grace's room is next to my room. She, she's crying. She's crying again. A young bride alone cries. A more bride cries. Come upstairs, Jim. I'm coming, Molly. Something Come. has to be done. I, I said something. David, take it, please. If it's anybody, say I'm not in. All right, Molly. Hello? Yeah? Oh, Mary Foot. Uh, Mrs. Goldberg said she's not in. Any message? Wait, I'll ask her. Molly! Yes? Mary Foot wants to know if, you, if you'll come to the rally tonight. Oh, what? Uh, one minute, uh, uh, Mary Foot. I'm asking her, yeah. What, uh, David? Mary Foot wants to know if you'll come to the rally tonight. Tell her if I live, I'll be there. If not, I'll be there next week. All right. Hello? Uh, Mrs. Goldberg said if she lives, she'll be there. And if not, she'll be there next week. Huh? Yeah, all are well, yeah. She's very busy now with Sammy's wife. Yes, uh, she, she's beautiful, lovely, exquisite. Huh? I, I don't know. Wait, wait I'll ask her. Molly! I'm coming, David. One, I'm one coming. minute, she's coming. All right, Rosalie. But now, all right, Rosalie, please, without the more, Rosalie. Marry foot, Molly. All right, never mind. You didn't say I was out? I told her you said you was out. Oh, you said I said. You, you told me to say you said. Oh, David. I, I said something again. I said something. Hello, Mary Foot. Wait, Rosalie. I'm going to mail my letter, Ma. Wait a minute. Wait a minute for your letter. Yes, Mary. Excuse me, but, but I, I was just, uh, just a little busy with my daughter-in-law because she wasn't feeling so, so, so. Y yes. Yes, Rosalie, your letter too, I'll remember. Mama, darling, please. Uh, yes, Mary, I'm listening. You went up to ask Grace if she walked to the post office. Oh, right, Yes, Ma. I'm listening, Mary, dear. Yes, a child, your whole life you spent with me. Are you the fruit of my life? Oh, no. Ma. You're an apple and I'm a pear. Yes, Mary, dear. I, I will. I will thank you very much for thinking of me. Goodbye, dear. Goodbye. Mama, darling, I... I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it and don't say it. Just wait till Papa comes well, down. Well, I want to mail my letter, Papa Ma. Papa asked you to wait for the letter. Wait for the letter. <sighs> Uncle David, I'm so worried. Because Grace is crying? No, because... If she's crying, it's because... She's not crying for my brother Sammy, Uncle David. Is that nice, Rosalie? I can't be nice. I, I, I can't feel nice, Uncle David. I can just feel that there's something behind all this that I don't understand and... And something I don't like. Just because you got into your head that uh, that Grace's first letter came and George's first letter came. And, and that was your first impression. That's why, Rosie. But, but now you know it was it was a coincidence. George don't know Grace, and then Grace don't know George. Even if they come from the same town. Why wasn't she so weepy when she first came well, here? Now every time you look at her, she cries. She's lonesome, maybe. And, and why does she suddenly want a job? I told her that she could work at the nursery school if she wanted to occupy herself with something worthwhile. And, and so? But that won't do, because she has to make money. Money? M money she has to make. Why does she have to make money? W w why does she need money, right? I only wish that Mama and Papa didn't mention my insurance oh, policy in front of What kind of, of a talk is this? Uh, Uncle David, don't say anything to Mama and Papa. Where are you going, Rosalie? I'm going to mail my letter. But Mama said to wait, and Papa said to wait. I'm mailing my letter. Uh, Rosalie went out. Rosalie went out? Call her back. I, I should call her back, Molly? Huh? She went out? No. Wait, David. Why wait? 
suppose, Jake, it's, it's only an application. What do you mean, only? I mean only. Uh, the application is not the money. And uh, then we'll, we'll cross the bridge when we come to it. But anybody who knows Molly knows that the bridge is being built already if Molly only begins to think of it. And that bridge will be built with Rosie's college money, if necessary. And now, meet a friend of mine, Mrs. Williams. Well, how do you do? Mrs. Williams, your son's in the Army, isn't he? Yes, in Tunisia. Mm -hmm. He's a gunner in the Air Force, and oh, I'm so proud of him. No wonder. That's why I'm so careful about turning in my waist fat. You see, I found out that every pound I turn in can make 10 50 caliber bullets for his machine gun. Mm -hmm, that's right. Waste fat makes glycerin, and glycerin makes gunpowder. Of course, you know, Mrs. Williams, the government only wants waste fat. That is, the fat you'd ordinarily throw out. Sure, but I still turn in a pound a month. Good for you. And every time I do, it's like sending ten more bullets right off to my boy. Well, that's swell, Mrs. Williams. Friends, turn your waste fat in, too. Fat from meats, fish, poultry, frying, everything. Pour the waste fat into any clean can and take it to your butcher. He'll pay for it. So don't throw it out. Turn it in. Keep our guns firing. Be sure to listen to the next episode of The Goldbergs. Rosie's sister-in-law proceeds with her plans. And Rosie proceeds with her suspicions. This is Clayton Collier speaking for Procter & Gamble and saying, Do as the dozens do. Let does, the new kind of soap, do everything in your wash.